Hello guys, I'm Rudolf and I welcome you to my first Java tutorial. Now in this tutorial, what we are going to be doing is we are going to be setting up a platform to run our Java codes on. So first of all, what we need to do is we need to download what we call the JDK. So what we can do is we can open Google and we are going to type in JDK download. Now when we type in JDK download and hit enter, we are going to see something like this pop up on the screen. And what we are going to do is we are going to actually take the first one. So we will right click on that, the Java SE development kit, and we are going to open that in a new tab. Now, when we open in a new tab, you are going to get something like this. Uh, a website will pop up with the application so we can download safely from here. Now, after you've done this, you need to go ahead and install the JDK on your system. And that will be very easy for you to do. Now, after that, we need to test whether our compiler is recognized by our system. So what we can do is we can click on start, search for command prompt by typing CMD and I'll hit enter for that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to type here Java C, which stands for Java compiler and I'll hit enter. And this instruction is telling us that Java C is not recognized as what 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 so i'll close that and this is what we need to do what we need to do is we need to go to my computer right click on that click on properties and i will go to advanced system settings now i will click on environment variables so what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new path for my Java C. Okay, so I'll go ahead and click on new. And uh, what I need to do is I need to go back to my computer and um, I'll go into my look at the C and I'll go into programs files. Now, since my Java has been installed on my system, I mean the JDK, I should be able to locate a folder here called Java. And here it is, the folder is here. That means my JDK was installed correctly. So I will open my Java and I will open the first one. Then I will open the folder called bin. Now what I need to do here is I need to right click on this and i'll go to properties and now i'm going to select the location here i will select all this address over here and i will copy all this address now i will go and i'm going to paste my address over here and i will give it a name that's the variable name i will call it path and it should be path after that i will click on ok okay like three times and i can close this so now let me go back to my command prompt search cmd enter and i'm going to type in java c and now this thing over here means that my jdk has been successfully installed okay so now that i have my jdk installed successfully what i'm going to do is i'm going to download Eclipse for Java, okay, so that we can use that as a platform to run our Java codes. So, what I'm going to do is I will go to Google again and I will type in Eclipse for Java. Now, when I type in Eclipse for Java, hit enter, I'm going to right click on this and I'm going to open that in a new tab. When I open that in a new tab, I'm going to get a website which will give me the Eclipse application and this website is www.eclipse.org 
okay so now i have my application over here and uh, since i'm using the windows 64 bit machine i'll go ahead and click windows 64 bit over here and as soon as i click on this i will get my file being downloaded okay so i'll wait for that patiently to download and after that i will go to where i saved the downloaded file that is the eclipse and in my i save it on the desktop as you can see it over here so i right click on that and i will extract it on the same desktop and i'll get something like this i open that open this one as well and what i'm going to do is i'm going to open this but what i can do also is i will right click on that and i will create a shortcut create shortcut and i will copy that shortcut or cut it and i will come and paste it on my desktop okay so now i have the eclipse being pasted on the desktop and i can start running my eclipse without errors okay so eclipse is about to start mm -hmm. I'll click on OK and yes it's loading and here I have my Eclipse ready to start programming okay in Java so now what I can do is to start writing course in Java I need to go to file new and I can take a project then java but in case you go to file new and you are seeing nothing what you need to do is actually there will be a c plus plus something over here you need to right click on that and when you right click on that you can close it okay now when you close it after come to these resources i mean after closing the c plus plus over there you are going to get something like that there right click on the resource and now click on reset okay now when you click on reset now when you go to your file new you are going to get these stuffs over here okay then that is it for this tutorial and in the next tutorial we are going to start writing some codes in java bye